Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. It is time for This Is My Bolo. This is one of my favorite videos. I invite my Bolo Buddies YouTube members to share a Bolo item, and it's actually them sharing the Bolo, which I love. Most of them have YouTube channels, so please take a minute to go subscribe to their channels, check out their eBay stores. That information is linked down below. I try to do these videos quarterly. It is a bonus video on top of what normally comes with memberships. All right, so they are gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Wait until you guys see these bolos. Thanks for watching. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is my Bolo. It is a Sonic the Hedgehog Build a Bear. Um, it's on the hand here. Let me show you that. Build a Bear. And some Build a Bear can be big money. Um, this guy is a $60 sale. I sold him for $60. The buyer was all in for $78.50. This is going internationally, so they will have global shipping program fees in addition to that, so they're probably all in for over $100. Build-A-Bear. Some are bread and butter. Some are big money. I actually have a video of the top 10 Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for. These Build-A-Bear, some of them go for hundreds of dollars. Go check out this video if you have not seen it so that you know which Build-A-Bear to source for. I picked that Sonic up at a garage sale for $2. Thanks for watching. Hey, Bolo Buddies, it's Rhonda. I'm from Got Junk in Our Trunk on YouTube, and I have a Bolo for you today. I just sold and am packaging up this to go out today. Hopefully you can see it. I've got some pretty bad lighting today, but this is a Art Nouveau patch box. Um, it's probably from around 1920s, maybe a little bit earlier than that. I got this from a fellow reseller, actually, and as you can see, it's etched on the top. It's a really pretty cranberry piece. Um, these little trinket boxes sell for a lot more than most people think, but I actually knew that this was a patch box just because of the construction of it. I did purchase this with about six or seven other ones and a lot from a different uh, reseller um, that was in my area, and <laughs> apparently she didn't know what it was because I paid, I think, five dollars for the entire lot, so I had a dollar or less in this, and I ended up selling this on a best offer. I had it listed for $169.99, and I ended up selling it for $139.99 plus shipping, and it was going to Germany. So that's my bola for today. Hey, Bolo Buddies, this is David from Toledo Antique, and just wanted to share our Bolo with you for this month. So we bought this rosary at an estate sale for $1, and uh, it sold on eBay for $120. It's got these nice gold tones, and then uh, looks like some rose quartz beads. And on the back of the cross, it does say uh, JRF. So um, I think that's a maker's mark, and it's a pretty cool item. If you want to hear more about uh, cool items that we resell, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our YouTube channel, and subscribe, and head over there to check out more of what we have going on. Hello, everyone. My name is Cindy. I'm coming to you from the Wear Pigs Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. We just started doing eBay full-time this past May and have learned so much from watching Courtney. Courtney's channel has been awesome. Thank you so much for having us on. We are here to share our bolo. Nope, it is not the book. It is what was found in the book. This was found by my board member, Jerry. She and I are the ones that do the sourcing and the eBay to help raise money for the farm. She did not care much for box lots. However, I think now she's addicted. She purchased this box lot of old books for $12 at a live auction, was going through comping the books and out falls a ticket. And then with a little bit more search, she found four more tickets. These are World's Heavyweight Ch Wrestling Championship tickets took place in Chicago, November 1936, between Alibaba and Marshall. We put them up for auction. They brought in over $150. Always search your books. 
So a lot of times what you find in the books will actually be more valuable than the book itself. And this was definitely uh, true for us. So anyway, keep your eyes open. Old tickets are going to bring in some big cash. And searching through those old books, you might find some great stuff. Also, please check out our YouTube channel. We're trying to raise our hours, so that way we can also help generate money for the farm to help pay for these guys. So anyway, thank you so much for having us, Courtney. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Nancy here, a.k.a. Vintage Barbie. So for my Bolo share today, I was at an estate sale and I went right down into the basement. A lot of the time at estate sales, um, people are going into the kitchen, to the living room, and those types of areas, the bedrooms. Well, lately I've decided to just go down into the basement or if they have an attic, go there because it seems like that's where people go last. I pulled this out of a box that said grandma's on it. It looked antique, so I purchased it, and I believe I paid like $4 for it. I got it home, and I looked it up on eBay, and I saw that it was called a pennant. So I listed it online, and I ended up selling this for $110. So Bolo Buddies, be on the lookout for these. They bring big money. Hi, Bolo Buddies. This is Yvonne, otherwise known as Mom Knows Treasures. I purchased this at the Salvation Army for about $7.99 and I sold it in a couple of months for $114.55. So most of these are bread and butters, but this one was a bolo. Woohoo! Thank you. Hey everyone, Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures and this is my bolo. I sold this Better Off Ted second season DVD set for $50 plus the buyer paid shipping after picking this up at a thrift shop for a dollar. Uh, this is outside what I normally would sell. I'm more in the vintage and antique space, but I saw this, uh, did some quick comps on it, saw that it might sell and sure enough listed it and this thing sold almost immediately. So if you happen to see the Better Off Ted DVD, make sure you pick it up. It's a great bolo. Hi everybody, my name is Carol, also known as Butterfly Hustles on YouTube, and my bolo is, I'm going to have to insert a screenshot, it's right here, this lot of 36 Furbies, they're like McDonald's 1998 Furby toys. I found four bags at Goodwill, and I did make a video about that, so here's the video here if you want to go check it out. Anyways, they sold for, um, on a 15% off coupon for $90 and it took quite a while to sell but I just wanted to show you guys my bolo and I did get these at Goodwill okay guys have a good day thank you Courtney for doing this hi my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel reseller and today I want to share with you my bolo first I wanted to thank Courtney for all that she does for us thank you this is a plush doll that is made by Well Made Toys. She's from 1994, 22 inches. I probably picked her up at an estate sale for a couple of dollars. And I have recently started using List Perfectly to cross list to Etsy. And last night she sold for $71.95. Thank you. Hi friends, it's Donna, Donatella Bottolino. Thank you so much. Courtney Bolo Buddies, my channel ambassador, always giving me a shout out. I wanted to show you what it sold at auction last night on my channel. This is a Christopher Radko. I'm sure Courtney is going to pin the sold somewhere here, maybe in this area. Absolutely beautiful. This actually came in off the truck while uh, I was live last night doing a selling event on my channel. It is in perfect condition other than the fact that it's missing the Christopher Radko um, little um, tab and someone tried to glue this on so it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Anyways, we had a hundred people in the audience last night. This was on the screen for a very long time while I was unloading a truck with some of the guys. And guess what? Only two people bid on it. It's sold 
for $37. The solds on this are in upwards of three to almost $400. Come to one of my auctions. You never know what you're gonna find. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, thank you, Courtney. Hey, 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 everybody. It's Farm Girl Scavenger and I'm coming to you for the last time from my garage, the scavenger shack, whatever you want to call it, to show you um, something to be on the lookout for. It's not going to be easy to find. It's a discontinued item, but I, it just sold last night. My store is on vacation with the ability to buy because I'm moving. I have moved my house and now I'm out in the, the garage and there you have it. Shelves are pretty much empty. Um, anyway, last night I sold six of these tic tac gum tic tac gum one two three four five six six of them for this much money <laughs> sorry i've been crying I'm, i've been crying because i'm a i'm a crybaby poopy pants Anyway, 25 cents a piece is what I paid for them, so I have a dollar fifty into this. It sold last night for a full asking price of $129.99 plus shipping to Canada, and they are in $147.99. Hope that helps you. Keep your eyes peeled for discontinued gum and candy, and it has to be listed at in the collectibles. Um Unless, unless the uh, expiration date is, but the expiration on these is Best Buy. Let's just put it that Best Buy March 26, 2021. So, if you have something that's been discontinued and is considered a collectible, and gum and candy can be considered collectibles, make sure you get that put in the collectibles category. Okay, got it. Love ya. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks for watching. This is the last time you'll see me here. Bye. Hey, I'm Tracy from Jack's Treasures on YouTube and mostly on TikTok. And this is my bolo. What these are, are uh, bell clip charms. They were very popular in the 80s when I was a kid. And um, they normally go on a necklace or bracelet. And they're called bell charms because most of them have a bell. This is my favorite because the eggplant is kind of naughty. I don't think it had the same naughty connotations back then, but now it's just cool. But anyway, um, I sold a lot of 17 of these for $63.75. And because they're plastic, they tend to be overlooked at like thrift stores and yard sales and things like that. But yeah, this is my bolo. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Hey everyone, my name's Crystal. I have a YouTube channel called The Thrifty Nickels, and I would be truly honored if you go and subscribe. I talk about what I sell on eBay as well as my local vintage booth here in town. Um, but today I want to tell you about my favorite bolo for March. I actually had several, so it was a great month, and I hope it was great for you as well. Um, but I found this hat at in a local estate sale for $1.25. And I thought it was unique. Um, I am in Georgia, so I find quite a bit of Masters stuff, but this was not Masters, it was Augusta National. So in doing research, I decided to take the plunge and move forward with Worth Point, uh, really based on Courtney's um, advice. And I was able to find out that this was a Augusta National members only hat that had sold recently for $125. So um, I listed it for a little bit more than that, but I ended up taking an offer for $90. So that's my bolo. Thanks guys. Hey, I'm Danielle with Yard Sales and Dreams and this is my bolo. We are looking at a 1985 My Little Pony, you guys. Now this thing is still in the card that would have gone down into the original box back in 1985. The eBay app came in quite handy on this day at the thrift because I was able to use the camera feature to let me know the name of this particular My Little Pony. Knowing the name of this My Little Pony series was paramount in the sale of this My Little Pony because I was able to pinpoint that it was actually called Perfume Puff Pony. Anytime that you can find specific keywords like this that you can use in your eBay listing, it's going to be very beneficial to you and maybe even increase your sale. 
With only a few comps being out there, I knew the rarity of this item and I decided to do an eBay auction. I decided to start the auction pretty high at $120. It sat all week at that and then at the very end it hit a surprising ending and it went off at $255 in total sale price. I was so excited. Thanks Courtney for letting me share. Hey everybody, my name is Tanya. I go by Double T's Treasures here on YouTube and on Instagram. And you can find it in my eBay store as well. I am new to the Bolo Buddies members group. So thank you, Courtney, for putting this together for everybody. I absolutely loved this. And this is my Bolo. This is a Disney puzzle. It is of the Haunted Mansion. I bought this in a lot of games from a garage sale. I paid $50 for the entire lot. I believe it was around $15 or more games. Some of those were sealed. And as you can see, I made my money back just in one puzzle that I had bought out of that lot. I sold this for $52.97. It was easy to ship. So make sure you keep a lookout for these. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Hello, guys. My name is Roman. My YouTube channel is Anytime Picker. And today I decided to choose my bowl to be uh, my recent sale of uh, vintage toaster that I picked up probably I think more than a month ago at Goodwill I paid uh, three dollars for it I'll put a picture of it on, on the screen for you because I already shipped it out so this toaster is called Viking Pro and that's model VT200 uh, stainless steel uh, toaster uh, for like two slots it sold for $71.10 uh, $71 plus $24.99 shipping and um, it had to ship in a bigger box that's why the shipping was higher uh, all right guys uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it and have a great day hi Bolo buddies thanks for watching Hi everyone, for those that don't know me, my name is T. I am Auctions For You on YouTube. I do auctions daily with my auction partner, Donatella Badalino. Please come over and check us out. We do cater to resellers. We do sell um, lots of goodies, um, but sometimes we list them on eBay too. I've been a reseller on eBay for the past 20 years, so I still like to keep my store going. And I actually have two stores that I share with my husband. And a few months ago, we bought a toy store and let me show you what we got, or what we sold from that toy store, I should say. So this caught my eye. This was a Thunderbird die cast, and it was packaged all in Japanese. The packaging wasn't, you know, 100%, but um, we priced it right. It, it was um, definitely... Um, a little undervalue here, but I got full asking price sold within a few days, uh, $225.99 plus $34.95 in shipping. So it was a nice bowler for us that we got from that um, toy buyout. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Courtney, for doing this. And we'll see you on the next auction. Bye. Hi, I'm Seaver. I go by Lake Threads on eBay and YouTube. I have uh, new YouTube content coming soon. And uh, this is my Bolo. I have uh, this vintage Little Tykes blue semi truck, uh, heavy haulers ride on. I bought it for $4 at a thrift store. It was really dirty. Uh, cleaned it up and sold it for $69.99 plus $26 for shipping uh, and the buyer was all in at $101.75. Hi Courtney, hi Bolo Buddies. My name is Carrie. My YouTube channel is Be Carried Away and I'm also a moderator on Courtney's awesome Facebook Bolo Buddies group. So I hope to see a lot of you over there as well as on my YouTube channel, Be Carried Away. So my Bolo, this is my Bolo and unfortunately I've already shipped it so I can't hold it up and I wish that I could because it is this beautiful chenille, hand-woven chenille, um, button-up jacket, shirt, 
uh, tunic. And I didn't know this brand. It's called Maud Andrade. I just simply uh, knew that this fabric felt amazing, that the design was amazing. I looked it up and I found out it definitely was a bolo, that Maud Andrade was an artist working out of New Mexico and had um, this art to wear style with these um, animals and petroglyphs. And I used all of those keywords. I sold it for $200 and I bought it for $4.99 at the Salvation Army. Clothes can definitely be a bolo. Hi everybody, my name is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much. That's my Etsy shop name as well. Thank you so much, Courtney, for doing this. We totally appreciate all the work you put into your Bolo members. Thank you so much. I'm going to pop a picture up uh, somewhere on the screen. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I wanted to let you know that this particular Bolo I actually got from a flea market probably about a month or so ago, and uh, I paid $40 for it. I was trying to negotiate with the vendor, but she sold it to me for $40. I'm so glad I did. When I looked it up, I kind of sort of thought it was something, and I ended up selling it for $180 dollars completely that's what i listed it for and that's what it sold for so that made me giddy that i sold it for 180 dollars so be on the lookout for little boudoir less because they could be sleepers thank you again for checking me out restore glory smooches hello everyone Ciro here with flipping it good today my bolo is uh trains actually everything that is train related there's a huge market for trains uh collectors so this is what I sold today. Uh, I was at a yard sale this weekend, and this guy had a, an incomplete set of trains. Um, he only wanted $10, so I got it. And this came there. This is the toy, uh, the transformer, and this is the speed throttle, the controller. Um, but everything that it's uh, train related, like the box carts, the tracks, the transformers, the controllers, uh, Everything sells really quick. Actually, uh, this train right here came with this and it sold the same day for $40 plus shipping. Now this just sold for $130 plus shipping. So everything trade related, pick it up. What's up guys, my name's Manny. I go by MannyDX44 on YouTube. That's also the name of my eBay store. And here is my bolo. Um, do not do not skip these anime uh, DVDs, guys. Sakurai and Sakurai Pure Engagement. Season 1 and 2, 2013 DVD Blu-ray. Anime DVDs and VHSs, guys, are a huge bolo. Do not pass these up. They will make you big money. This was my first one that I sold in my eBay store uh, last month. And um, it went for a big amount of money. I've also sold a few others for a good amount of money, so do not pass these up, guys. I just wanted to say thank you to all of my members that participated in this video. It was fantastic. Loved seeing all of your bolos. And for those of you that are watching that may be interested in being a part of these videos, there is a join button down below. You can click on that. If you don't see it, there is also a link in the description of the video. This is for perks so that you can get shout outs for your YouTube channel or eBay store. My channel is completely free. The memberships are for perks. So if you would like to do that, you can. If not, absolutely no pressure. Just wanting to let you know that it is an option. Thank you all again so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.